Thank you everyone for joining us. I'm Don Stewart and I'm going to be your host. Uh, I think it's really great that this is on Father's Day because my experience with the parents who use the services of the Darling Home are spectacular parents. So happy Father's Day to them in particular and happy Mother's Day, really. This event would not have grown to be as successful as it has been over the years without the loyal support of presenting sponsor, Madame Holmes. Hi, I'm Krista and this is Henry. We uh, are a family that live in Burlington with our son Tyson, who um, he has a neuromuscular disease and because of his neuromuscular disease, he has a tracheostomy and G2, which means, you know, somebody's got to be with him all the time. Um, and we even have nurses who come to our home every night and watch him sleep so that we can get some rest. Um, and because of that, the Darling Home is especially important to us because it is the only facility in our region that takes care of children who have technology dependent needs. Having Tyson and respite means that we don't have to chase him around worrying about his medication, worry about his food, or worry about his water and fluid intake. Our guest speaker today, Michael Landsberg. You know, I was listening to Krista and Henry, and uh, I do totally agree with, uh, with Don that this is um, very fitting that it happens on Father's Day because as parents, obviously, the number one thing in our lives is our kids, our kids' health, our kids' health, our kids' happiness. It, it really determines in so many ways how we feel as parents. You know, you can't have a good Father's Day if you're hugely worried about one of your children, all of your children. So to Krista and Henry, I know that that other folks at the at the Darling are like you, first and foremost, driven to give the best you can to your child. But what I'm here to talk about is not your child. I'm here to talk to you. Given your situation, given how you really have to be devoted in your life to someone other than you. And that makes me worry because that means you're not looking after you. That means you're not thinking of you. That means you serve you last in the metaphor of feeding our children first and whatever's left over we take. That's the way you live your life. And that worries me uh, because mental illness, which is what I'm here to talk about, um, does not happen like a physically diagnosable illness where you can look at it. So you may not know that you are actually battling something really serious. You may not know that your mental illness, which has crept into you so slowly that you didn't notice it was happening, you may not know any of that. You need to look at yourself and your own mental illness because you're so devoted to the mental health of others. And it doesn't just go for, for parents who have kids who have you know the kind of challenges that your kids have. I mean, it goes for everyone. Mental illness does not hit us like that, where you go, oh my God, this, oh, like I just got hit with this terrible pain or this terrible headache or, oh God, I was feeling so great. Now I have a high fever. That's not the way it works. It's a tiny, 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 tiny tap that you can't feel that accumulates to the point where now your arm is sore. I think it's tragic if right now you are living your life below where the bar should be. If you are living your life at this point in a way that is not maximizing whatever joy you can experience in your life. Thank you everyone for joining us today. We're excited to announce that so far this year's event has raised over $80,000 to date. It's not over until June the 30th. Please speak to a few more people, find a few more people who will make pledges and sponsors. It really is a great cause. Thank you so much for being here.